In this tutorial, we're going to show you how to lubricate the spindle head on the CNC router. That's what's shown in the image right here. It's the part of the drilling head that actually goes down and picks up the router bits from the tool holder. And to do this, we're going to be using the Metaflux paste packets. All right, so the first thing we have to do if we're going to lubricate the spindle is we need to make sure we have an empty spindle. So to do that, uh, right now I know we're holding a tool, so we're going to go ahead and download the tool. So now we're set pointed. So now we come over to diagnostic, download tool. All download tool does is drop off a tool that it might be holding. Just make sure your dust hose doesn't get in the way and kind of, because what can happen is if it's not vacuuming up, it could get caught under the hood and like pull. Okay. But I mean, one, I think you have it set up so that when you're, maybe the vacuum pumps are running is when the dust collector comes on or I'm mm -hmm. not sure. Yeah. Um, all right, so now we have that. Now what we want to do is move the machine so that we can get to the spindle, which means we want to bring it all the way to this side. So we're just going to go, go to the uh, synoptic down here. We just do machine or uh, main, I mean, main synoptic. And this is where we can um, jog the machine. Anytime we see this, that just means we don't have the high enough password in. We just can put the higher password in. And... In order to get that higher password, you just go into the bottom right hand corner of the screen. There's a little icon of a yellow key. You click on that key, this window will pop up and you just type in test, T-E-S-T, -E all lowercase letters. And now in the Y, I'm just going to bring it um, all the way over to that negative value that's shown right there. It's just going to take a minute. While it's doing that, we'll also just have it start coming up to like, um, coming up to zero. It's going to be closer to us. It doesn't really matter where it's at in the X and Y, or where it matters where it's in the Y. It doesn't matter where it's in the X. And the way they do this is like cheapy, which is also an easier way, is if you do the warm machine, warm up machine function, mm -hmm. where it like, you know, travels the whole thing, when it gets to this front corner while warming it up, just end the function and it'll be to the front. That's, so that's another like, just, it's a little bit quicker to do it that way. All right. We're all the way over. Um, even though I know I just downloaded the tool, I'm super paranoid about dropping a tool because what we're going to do right now is if we open the spindle up and it's holding the tool, it's going to go right to the ground. So I'm just visually inspecting that that spindle is empty. Spindle is empty. Now here's the, like the, it's not complicated, but here's like this. Slightly complicated. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to the head synoptic now. We can either, since we're already on the main, we could just double click this box here and it takes us to the head synoptic. The other way is if we're back at CNC board, we have the head synoptic here. We can double click on that, it'll bring up that screen. Either way, it brings up the same screen. And what we care about on this screen is this little section right here. So this is all to do with the spindle. This lock unlock is basically showing you whether it's holding a tool or open. Well, right now, it's closed, but not holding a tool. So neither are illuminated. If we open it, the unlock will, will show blue. If it's holding a tool, the lock would be showing, would be blue. Okay, so it shows blue. Yeah, and we'll see that here in a second. So, um, we're going to be, basically, anything you do on this machine, and it's dealing with pneumatics, you have to have the key in manual. So right now I'm going to turn the key to manual. And the process is we click on this little hammer wrench icon, kind of visually looks like it pops out. And then we can step on the yellow pedal, the same one we use to start a program. Mm -hmm. When we step on that pedal, you'll hear it over here and you can visually see it. If you wanna watch the, um, put the camera on the spindle. Got it? You uh, see that little very center of it? That's the draw bar. So while we step on the pedal, the draw bar comes out. That's what we're gonna 
that's a, the first thing we're going to do with that is we're going to clean it. We're going to get a very clean towel, which what we definitely want is just something that's not going to leave any other foreign residue behind. Okay. Um, so that was just a visual to show you that. So now if we want to fully unlock the spindle, what we're going to do is I'm going to move this pedal, see if we can, we can reach it here. It might be a two-man job for you. You step on the pedal and you turn the key back to automatic. And when we do that, it's locked itself open. Okay. So now that draw bar is down. So what we can do is we can get under there. And actually, what I'm also going to do here, I'm just going to drop down the spindle so it's a little bit closer to the ground. So basically, if I click this button here and you watch over there, watch the actual spindle, you'll see. Like it's going to lower itself down. So this is just to bring it down to make it easier to get to. So here's where it's a little loud. It's a little hard to hear him right here, but he's saying you really just need to get in there and really clean off the old Metaflex on that spindle. And while you're down there, you might as well just clean the whole surface of the spindle as well so that the contact is really good when it goes to pick up the tool. You also want to make sure that there's no fuzz pieces left over from the cloth on the spindle. And then ideally, we be able to get up there. Um, yeah, so we just want to get any old metal flux or any residue away. Now, do you have Metaflux with you right now? Yeah. Okay. I mean, we can do it now or you can do it later. But the process now would be, I'm going to take this same towel and I'm going to grab one of your tools out of tool holder. Probably, usually find the least stabby. Which, and actually, usually also, make sure you remember where exactly you took it from because you want to put it back in exactly where you took it from. Mm -hmm. What I want to do now is um, thoroughly clean out the tool. And what I really care about is the inside here. I want that to be thoroughly clean. So that's actually where it grabs in the middle, right? Yeah. If you, feel, if you okay. put your finger in here, you feel that lift. Yep. That's where it actually grabs. So now what we would do is we would take the metal flux packet and we basically just use about half the packet. And I, uh, you'd also be one of wearing gloves when you do this. Because okay. it's like a metal paste. Um, you don't want that in your system. And we take that metal paste and we basically put it on the inside of this lip here. But not all that much is actually going to transfer to the spindle. Okay. You know what I mean? It's, it's mostly going to stay on your tool holder that you will then clean away with your rag. For, for this process, we're going to end up putting the Metaflux in there. We're going to want the uh, foot pedal near us. Because instead of just having it open, I'm going to get this set up again so that um, when I step on that pedal, which we're in that state right now, when I step on that pedal, it's going to open. Because our process is going to be basically we're going to take this tool, we're going to stick it up in the spindle, let it grab it. Mm -hmm. Take it out, put it up, maybe move it around, let it grab it again, do that a few times. And then a, like a thin coating from the tool holder will transfer to your spindle. Okay. To the draw bar. What we care about is, is getting it in inside there. You can also you're, you can also put some on the outer of the cone. What you don't want to do is you don't want it on the horizontal surfaces. You only want it on okay. the vertical surfaces. And the majority of it. Does that include the lip inside of there? You don't want to get it up on that lip. No, that does not include that. I'm, I, I mean uh, this surface outside. here and this surface here. Got it. So that's pretty good. I'm gonna go ahead and throw this away now. Yep. 
So now we're in a position where we can open and close the tool holder. So right now, by hand, if I just put my hand in here, I can open it, I can close it. So I can stick my hand, I can stick the tool up here, get it open obviously, let it grab it. And, and then sometimes when you do that, you lose your button on the screen. Depending how rapidly you open and close. So now all I'm going to do is come back over here and click the button. Remember, that tool's not going to fall out until I step on that pedal. And that's the, that's the, the hammer, hammer wrench, wrench tool? tool. Okay. Yeah, it's it's kind of like, say you open, close, open, close, open, close. It kind of just, like, re releases itself. Okay. Like, so if you're hitting the pedal and nothing's happening, you probably just have to re-click this. Got it. And then remember, if I, if I hit this, that's falling out. So I got to make sure I have a handle. So I got my hand on it. Now I can take it out. I can put it back in here. I can let it grab. Spin a little bit. Let it come out. Let it grab it again. And then that's it. We have now lubricated the finish. Just cleaning that off. And then the good. last step will be to all the metal flux that didn't transfer, which is going to be a lot. Like, you're still going to see, like, it's going to feel like nothing happened. But, I mean, if you, if, if you went right now and did the cleaning the spindle, you would get, you know, some, like, a, a film of metal flux to come off. And all, all the metal flux is there for is to just, it's like an anti-seize. Okay, got it. So how often would you suggest doing this in? Um, I'd say, I, have you guys been having issues with tools not grabbing? No, not really. Then how often do you normally do it? It would be a follow-up question. It's been, it's been a while. It's been a while. So this yeah. is one of those things that like, I guess the short answer is I would recommend doing it monthly. Okay. But this is also one of those things that if you're not doing it, it's not going to, it's not truly, I don't not going to be long-term consequences but you'll start having annoying issues of tools sticking right not picking up tools properly so to avoid that just got to go through this process 